Welcome to Mythbusters Dyslexia Edition. My name is Dr. Katherine Garforth. And I am Dr. Jan Hasbrook. Uh, another myth uh, around dyslexia is that all children with dyslexia have trouble with spelling and handwriting. Uh, what we do know is that those three things spelling, handwriting, and uh, the ability to decode words are very closely related. So having difficulty in one area may in fact bring along some uh, additional challenges in spelling and handwriting. But if we see that particularly the handwriting is really being severe, that may be another area of the brain um, that is having particular difficulty to the level of um, identification as a specific and separate uh, learning disability called dysgraphia. So we do see dysgraphia um, occurring along with dyslexia in, in some children, but not all children. And there are children who have dysgraphia alone without dyslexia. Uh, the spelling issue is a little bit harder to tease out because of the, the almost mirror reciprocal relationship between uh, being able to decode a word, seeing the letter printed and connecting that with the, uh, the language sound associated with that we've associated that letter with. Um, and then doing actually a harder task, which is to come up with the sound, remember which letter configuration represents that sound, and then from memory, often without any guidance, get that on paper. That's what's involved in spelling and writing is retrieving the sound, the letter, and then physically format, format, formatting it or typing it. Um, really a challenging skill. And we know anyone who works in schools knows that spelling is a challenge for a whole lot of our kids, um, but having dyslexia is going to make spelling um, that much more challenging. So we take note of all of those areas, but we, we don't say that you have to have difficulty in spelling and writing in order to be dyslexic. It's not part of the diagnosis. Those are uh, particularly the dysgraphia, the writing is a separate um, learning challenge or disability from dyslexia. It's important to identify both if they exist because they do require different interventions. Yes. And if we look at the DSM, which is a Diagnostic Statistical Manual, uh, it doesn't actually have the terms defined in it for dyslexia and dysgraphia, mm -hmm. but they have a specific learning disorder in reading, which dyslexia falls under, and a specific learning disorder in writing, which dysgraphia falls under. And so it's recognizing that they are separate, but related and mm -hmm. often co-occurring. Yes. So we need to also try and bring the importance of dysgraphia out there because I, at least in my experience, I don't see it as identified as frequently. Mm -hmm. And it does need the support that a student would receive for dyslexia. And it's important that we do work on that letter formation and getting the automaticity up there because it is a life skill that's necessary. Right? It's a life skill. Yes, it's a life skill that's necessary, but there's a, quite a bit of research. Uh, Beringer and Wolf and Graham and uh, Harris who have looked at the contribution of handwriting to decoding skill. So the, they really are reciprocal um, and co-supportive activities. So doing it accurately and well, the letter formation in your handwriting can be supporting. Um, and for our children with dyslexia who need all the support they can get, uh, we wanna tap into that. So making sure that we are giving them the supports um, and the opportunity to do a lot of writing. There's a uh, really, we should be when we're teaching just at the letter sound level, this letter says 
M, we, the sound it represents is M. Now pick up your pen and write an M on your whiteboard. And if this is a child who struggles with that, we can have it pre trace uh, written so the child just traces because we don't want children to ever practice incorrectly. Uh, so all those supports, but it really we should be seeing that a lot more in classrooms, the hearing it, uh, saying it, seeing it, and writing it all happen um, as simultaneously as possible because that activates all those neural pathways and strengthens them all. Whether or not you have dyslexia or dysgraphia, but so even more important if you've got those challenges. Yeah, and as uh, educators and parents, understanding that there are other professionals that can help you with this, mm -hmm. such as a speech and language pathologist yes. and an occupational therapist, because if there are issues with the muscles in the hand around the coordination and the formation of the letters, getting those addressed is going to help the child with that letter formation yes. and the fluidity of the movement. Good point. Those are, those are important uh, supports for um, yeah, well, and also yeah. when it comes to the spelling, the discrimination of the sounds, the sounds, and this comes mm -hmm. to reading as well, as being to discriminate or to recognize the difference in the pronunciation of the sounds. Yeah. 